It hasn't been lost on the public that in the past couple of years, quite a few young entrepreneurs honored by Forbes magazine have wound up in prison. The problem has become so evident that late last year, Forbes magazine itself released a Hall of Shame list in which they admitted that there were some 30 under 30 picks that, quote, we wish we could take back. Once upon a time, it seemed that most corporate criminals were older males. But in recent years, we're seeing a bunch of millennial criminals, both male and female. What could be causing this phenomenon? Perhaps it's because millennials grew up at a time when people idolized tech founders like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, college dropouts who founded Microsoft at age 19 and Apple at age 21, respectively, companies that would become behemoths of the corporate world. This was a time when startup stories abounded with tales of fake it till you make it. Or they grew up hearing about young entrepreneurs during the dot-com boom who started companies like Google and Yahoo as mere grad students. Millennials therefore believed that barely out-of-college visionaries could disrupt entire industries and that fake it till you make it was an acceptable way to do business. Elizabeth Holmes and Charlie Javis are two former CEOs who were known to have once uttered that phrase, fake it till you make it, to their colleagues as justification for their questionable decisions. But they would learn the hard way that that approach has unfortunate consequences if you don't make it. Here are seven young entrepreneurs who were once honored by Forbes magazine, either on the 30 under 30 list or through other means, who wound up facing criminal charges. Number one, Martin Shkreli. We're going a few years back for the first one. The farmer bro himself made the 30 under 30 list way back in 2013 at the age of 29. Two years later, in 2015, he caused public outrage when his company, Turing Pharmaceuticals, acquired the life-saving antiparasitic drug Daraprim, a drug often used by AIDS patients, and raised the price by 5,000%. In 2018, at age 34, he was sentenced to seven years in prison for securities fraud and was released in May 2022 after serving about five years. Number two, Sam Bankman Freed. The former crypto king made the 30 under 30 list in 2021 and also made the cover of the Forbes 400 issue the same year at age 29. At the time, he was worth over 20 billion dollars. By 2022, his company, crypto exchange FTX, had collapsed after it was revealed that about nine billion dollars of his customers' money was missing. Turns out Bankman Freed had been illegally spending his customers' money on investments, trades, and to pay off the debts of his other company, trading firm Alameda Research. In March 2024, Sam Bankman Freed was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Number three, Caroline Ellison. Bankman Freed's on and off again girlfriend was CEO of his other company, Alameda Research. Ellison made the 30 under 30 list in 2022 at age 27 after being named CEO of her boyfriend's company at age 26. Bankman Freed allowed Ellison to illegally trade FTX customer money, and she wound up losing billions of dollars in bad trades after cutting off her ex-boyfriend and ignoring his hedging advice after they ended their romantic relationship. She pleaded guilty to several counts of fraud and is still awaiting sentencing, but she is expected to avoid prison time because she agreed to testify against her ex. Number 4. Do Kwon the former CEO of crypto firm Terraform Labs made the Forbes Asia 30 under 30 list in 2019 at around age 28 and was worth over $4 billion at age 30. In 2022, his algorithmic stablecoin Terra collapsed, wiping out $45 billion in value, and he was convicted of fraud after it was revealed that he had misled investors on the effectiveness of his algorithm and the size of his cryptocurrency's ecosystem, both important factors in keeping algorithmic stablecoins stable. Kwan spent four months in prison for forged documents 
after going on the run with fake Costa Rican and Belgian passports. He is currently awaiting extradition to either the United States or his native South Korea. Number 5. Elizabeth Holmes The former CEO of Theranos was actually never on the 30 under 30 list, but she was honored at the Forbes Under 30 Summit, and she too made the cover of a Forbes 400 issue. Holmes founded Theranos at age 19 and was a billionaire by age 30, but whistleblowers exposed that her supposedly revolutionary blood testing technology, which she claimed could run a full panel of tests on only a few drops of blood, didn't actually work, and that she had been diluting blood samples and running tests on traditional blood testing machines. She was found guilty of fraud in 2022 and sentenced to 11 years in prison. Number 6. Charlie Javis The former CEO of Frank, a service that helps college students automatically fill out their federal financial aid forms, Javis made the 30 under 30 list in 2019. In 2021, at 28 years old, she sold her company to JP Morgan for $175 million. However, in 2023, she was charged with fraud, and it was revealed that she had hired a data science professor to create about 4 million fake customers in order to sell her company at an inflated price. Her trial will be held in October 2024, and her charges carry a maximum of 30 years in prison. Number 7. Trevor Milton This guy is a little older than the others. Milton was the founder of Nikola a company that made hydrogen-powered trucks. In 2020, at age 38, he made the Forbes 12 Under 40 list, a list of the youngest billionaires on the Forbes 400. However, his trucks didn't function. Most notoriously, he made a demo showing one of his trucks rolling downhill, then straightened the camera to make it look like it was driving under its own power. He was sentenced to four years in prison in December 2023. We have in-depth videos on several individuals on this list. In my opinion, Charlie Javis was easily the most bold. This 28-year-old literally figured that she could spend about $100,000 on a list of student names and sell it for $175 million. Her plan was far more elaborate than many people realize. Learn all about it in our deep dive video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.